Hello, God saints, and welcome to Scott's Chapel Online Ministries. This is Pastor Fred with today's Bible moment. And today's Bible moment has to do with thinking, getting our minds right, getting our minds right. And it's coming from Isaiah chapter 26, verse 3. And it says, you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, whose thoughts are fixed on you. This little promise out of the 26th chapter struck a nerve in my spirit. And it is one of the many numerous promises in the Bible that God loves us that God will protect us and that God is the God of peace. In this verse, God's promise peace has two conditions. First, it is for those who trust in him, which means to commit ourselves to the Lord, to lean on him, to hope confidently in him. And second, it is for those who fix their thoughts on God. So many times we are often preoccupied and have our minds focus on so many things. And sometimes at the same time, some of us seem to have a recording going on in our mind that keeps replaying over and over a list of responsibilities, problems, worries, and tasks, and scheduled activities, and burdens, and tragedies, and fearful things going on in the world. But the text is reminding us when we fix our minds on him and our thoughts on the character and attributes of the Lord, we have something different playing on in our minds. And we're gonna see that in just a moment as we look at some parallel passages to go along with this key text. God is our everlasting rock, our refuge in times of trouble. The Lord Almighty holds the whole world in his hands and each of us individually in his hands. With God as our focus, my, 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 we can fix our faith firmly on him knowing that we are secure. I guess that's why Jesus had told his disciples before his crucifixion and during the night of suffering before the Garden of Gethsemane, when they were at the Lord's uh, farewell feast. He says in John chapter 14, verse 25, all this I have spoken while still with you, but the advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and remind you of everything I have said to you. Verse 27, peace. I leave with you. My peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. My beloved, we have something from God and that is his peace. It is a gift that he promised that he will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever. For the Lord, the Lord himself is the rock eternal. That is how we have peace, my friend. Turn it over to him and let him give you his peace. God bless you. God smile upon you. Happy Sunday.